Hi, it's Nash from Alpha Phi, and I've got good news. The Guardian new PUA option, it's not so new, it's been out for a while, but it's finally approved in California. For whatever reason, California is slow and takes some time to get with the times like all the other states have uh, adopted for a while. So the short-term performance PUA option that Guardian had released months back for all other, all other states California has finally approved it. So let's talk about what it is and why this is important to have an understanding of when evaluating uh, a policy. So PUA options. PUA stands for paid up additions in terms of a component or a rider on a high cash value whole life policy. And Guardian now with their L95 has two options that people can uh, choose from the short-term performance or STP option, or they really don't actually label the other one, but the other one I call the long-term performance uh, PUA option. It's just the standard PUAs, it's the historical option. Now, what is the difference between the two? Well, it's indicative in the name. One has favorable short-term performance, the other has favorable long-term performance. Uh, what happens when you contribute to PUAs is it generates higher immediate cash value with the short-term option. Really what's going on here is that there is a what's called a PUA rider uh, load or fee when you contribute. The, his, the LTP option is essentially 10%, the STP option is 5%. So everybody would say, well great, I wanna go with the STP option. There's, you know, it's 5% savings, why not? Well, the important thing to understand is that the reason Guardian charges those fees is to allow for working capital uh, so that they can invest and generate returns for policyholders. As you buy a policy, you become a joint partner uh, in the company, basically, that's a mutual whole life company, and the company, their goal is to generate returns for policyholders. So, what's going on when you choose the STP option is that, yeah, you get access to 5% more liquidity up front meaning you have that access and cash value you can take loans you'll have more access you'll have more cash value essentially but the long-term performance option having securing more working capital for the company they're generate they're investing generating longer term returns so your cash value growth is actually greater over the long run now it's not guaranteed but they generally are investing in very safe liquid safe investments that have uh, low st that have slow and steady returns over time and so it's a really good uh, option to be aware of and the pros and cons there so going forward any new policy can take advantage of the STP or LTP this was true in all states except for California until recently and then any policy issued in the past four months can actually elect to switch over to STP if you uh, feel like you, you didn't know or you made the wrong decision and you want to switch it over, have more access to liquidity. Uh, I believe the opposite is true as well. All right, let's take a look at what this actually looks like side by side. So this is a, a policy uh, I was looking at for a 54 year old male. On the left is the normal or long term PUA option. On the right is the short term PUA option. We have policy year, age, minimum payment, so this is that 10% of base premium, so $5,000 or less, plus the minimum amount to keep the policy alive with the riser, riders intact, specifically the scheduled PUA and one year term insurance, so six, $6,067 minimum, target payment or the maximum, and then the cumulative outlay, the guaranteed uh, uh, net cash value and death benefit and the dividend net cash value and death benefit. So this is a standard 1090 long long term fund uh, L95 policy. 50,000 in, about 82% uh, percent coming back to cash value. That percentage will vary a little bit based on age, health rating, uh, and so about 82% coming back to cash value or 40,797 here in this example. Uh, and then you see the growth here, and it breaks even in year six. No fancy bells and whistles to this policy, just a flat fund, 1090 Guardian L95. 
Let's look at the short-term performance option. The policies are the same except for toggling which PUA option we're using. So 6067, 6, 50,000 flat, the guaranteed values and the dividend values. So let's take a look at what happens in year one. 82% coming back to cash value versus 86%. So 43,058 in cash value in year one, that's about that 5% difference. If you look at the percentages, about that 5% difference in that liquidity that you'll have access to when choosing the STP option. And let's look at where we're breaking even. Here, the break even has pulled in because of that extra liquidity, but one year. And on the guaranteed scale, let's take a look here. So on the left, normal PUA, this one took a little while to break even due to age and, and everything going on here. Uh, at, at policy year 17. But in the STP PUA option, uh, it actually pulled in to right about years 12 to 13. Typically, a traditional whole life policy with a 100% base premium may break even on the dividend scale out here you know, somewhere 15 plus years out if if you're with a good company. Otherwise, it could take a lot longer than that. So I've set up here uh, kind of a look at the guaranteed and dividend differences year over year. So what this is on the left is the cash value difference. So 40,797 or 43,058. So the difference being $2,000. Uh, on the guaranteed side. The death benefit is the one right next to it. So looking at the death benefit difference and they're the same until we do a reduced uh, and they're the same until out here. On the dividend scale, the, the cash value net uh, cash value difference between the two and the death benefit difference between the two. So green means the STP PUA option is more Red means the long-term performance or normal PUA option is more. So what we're looking at here is actually cash value on the dividend scale being greater with the STP option for the first uh, about 10 years, just over 10 years, 14 years here. And on the guaranteed scale, it actually stays positive forever. The reason is, as I explained in the beginning, is that that extra 5% going to work in capital is uh, targeted at uh, at generating longer term potential returns, the dividend scale returns. So assuming those are not coming to fruition, the guarantees are going to be greater on the STP option where you got that extra 5% and it started compounding for you. Uh, then on the dividend scale, the, uh, the, the cash value starts growing even more showing those potential longer term returns from about uh, years 14, 15 and on. So out here at age 85, it's actually looking like about 170,000 more cash value in the normal PUA option and almost 200,000 more in death benefit with the normal PUA option, allowing for the company to take that working capital, put it to work and generate returns for policyholders. So. Welcome to the party, California. If anybody's from California and wants to see anything with these options, let me know. Drop a like, hit the subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.